What's going on guys? Forever One Ghost here coming back at you with another awesome video. Today I'm going to be giving you my five underrated animes that I think deserve a lot more credit. And of course the first one starting it off here today is Chrome Shield Radios. I definitely seen this anime a long time ago. Uh, this anime just being one of those animes that I definitely fell in love with. It was a classic anime. It came out in 2009 or it was airing in 2009. Uh, and it was just an insane, insane anime. And I definitely think a lot of people haven't seen this anime or haven't heard of this anime. So I definitely recommend you guys watch it. The story behind this anime, and based off of what I could remember, obviously, is... Uh, I'll give you a short synopsis of this. Uh, after arriving in Zueling Academy City, a mysterious Leifon, which is the main protagonist of this anime, uh, makes a quiet impression and is quickly forced into joining the 17th platoon of the military arts department. So he is just uh, an arriving member to this new city or this town that he's going to, obviously the city. Um, and he's there to study, uh, like I think he's trying to study as study arts or works, uh, work study. There you go, work study. But then instead, the, they're trying to recruit him as a military arts and he doesn't want to do that, but it's an insane anime. I definitely think that it's underrated because of the fact that people don't really see the story behind this or don't give it a fair shake. I definitely think you should give it a fair shake and check it out. Very dope anime. Okay, so the next one I'm going with is The Irregular at Magic High School. Now, this anime is very, very, very dope. Now, a lot of people were asking me about this anime a long time ago. And I remember watching this not so long ago, and I was thinking to myself, man, this anime looks dope. So when I got the chance to actually check it out almost a year ago, because I saw this in 2019, I definitely had to give it a shot and check it out. And when I did see it, it was just a dope anime about these two brothers and sister and their story uh, of how they ended up in the school, obviously, and all this other stuff that was in, and it's just insane. Uh, so the brother and the sister are involved in the military in some sense. Well, more or less the brother than the sister. But when they arrive to this school, uh, they're entered in to see how high of strength, capacity, or intelligence, or, you know, overall battle aspects. So the sister's very strong and has very high magic power, and she's a bloom. I know you can't really see from where his hand's holding her right or left arm, where he, she has the emblem on there, but the brother is not a bloom, so he doesn't have that emblem there, so they distinguish who's good and who's not by that rank system in there. Obviously, it's very absurd but that's just how it is in the anime for the most part but it's a very dope anime i definitely recommend it and i think it's a very underrated anime and i think a lot of people should give it a fair shot and check it out as well so the next one that i'm going to start off with as well is grand creest of the record of the grand creest war uh another one that's very very underrated i think it doesn't get enough credit as well a very dope anime and i think again if you are a fan of a lot of like magic or you know somewhat storytelling like this I definitely recommend it. So I'm going to give you guys a quick synopsis as well as this one. Very short and sweet. A, no, a lone mage named Cilicia, I hope her name is right, uh, and a vagrant knight named Theo make an oath as master and retainer with hopes of bringing reform to a land riddled with war and chaos. So Theo wants to bring peace to his land and obviously stop the war and the chaos that's going around in, in, in the world, obviously. So he teams up with this mage that's going to help her, who's going to help him. And pretty much they go on this journey to kind of, you know, solve all of this, recruit others. And obviously, in due time, he gets enough respect and a title so where he can actually have authority behind him to help him. So that's a very crazy cool anime. I think it's very underrated. I don't think a lot of people give this one a fair shake as well. Um, I definitely think if you haven't seen something like this, I would say it's best that you check it out and kind of give it your fair shot. At watching and if you're hearing a lot of sounds because it's a storm outside and it's raining and I do have both my uh, fans on so I do apologize if you hear any background sound um, but anyway uh, very good anime I definitely think it's a very very must watch I'd say in my opinion uh, as well so definitely check it out so the next one is Chevalier of a failed knight so as you can see here a lot of people have seen this anime or haven't seen this anime but if you have seen this anime then you'll know what I'm talking about it's a very dope a story of a young man named Iki who is a low-ranking student who is an F-class student who is just absolutely no bueno. Um, when he meets Stella, who is an A-rank uh, student in the school, he ends up in a, in a very awkward position where he bumps into her and something very much so happens and causes them to get into a fight. Um, during that fight, she finds out that this guy is very good as a knight but he doesn't really have a sort of ability that kind of concurs to where they would place him in that ability right 
So based off of that, they gave him a very bad ranking due to the system that it's its system sucks. Let me just put it like that. Um, it's very good anime. There are some scenes in it, obviously, that's a little bit kinky that I wouldn't recommend to those of age who are, like, if they're young, don't watch it. If you're old enough to understand and look past that, then that's fine. Do so. But I think, in my opinion, it's a very dope anime. Uh, there are some moments of sincerity, and there are some moments of just, like, uh, action, uh, thriller kind of style anime, romantic comedy-ish anime to this one. Uh, definitely recommend it. I think it's a very underrated anime. I don't think a lot of people have seen it. I think so at least. Um, and that's where I'll leave it with that one. But also, let's go to the next one uh, real quick. Here, just give me one second. Okay, so the next one is, and the final one, my number five, Claymore. Uh, this is one of these animes that I've seen almost a week ago, and it's a very, very good anime. I definitely think it's super underrated. I definitely think a lot of people should check this anime out, and I would recommend it to those who haven't seen this. It's a very classic anime. This anime aired in 2007. I think the manga or the story for this anime was written in 2001. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below if I am. And if I am, I'm sorry. Uh, also, in this anime, there's a lot, a lot of story behind a lot of the female claymores here. Now, the title Claymore came from the humans when they saw these females, the silver-eyed witches, uh, because they're half-human hybrid Yoma, who used the powers of Yoma to kill other Yomas. So Yomas are the ones that are shape-shifting monsters that can shape-shift into humans, but also when they're hungry, they turn back into Yoma and eat them, which is very, very bad, obviously. Um, and so the main female protagonist in all of this is a lot of other females that are incredible, but this one in particular, Claire, goes around town to town, you know, killing these uh, Yoma for a fee by her organization in which she works for. The anime in itself is insane. I definitely think that a lot of people should give this anime a fair shake. And I definitely think if you haven't seen something like this, I would highly recommend it. Now, before I go, I will give you two honorable mentions that I think deserve uh, a fair shake as well. And I definitely think it's Lord Marksman and the Vanities and Black Lagoon. Those are two as well that I feel that don't get enough credit as well. They're very good animes, and I definitely recommend those as well. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. And also like this video if you enjoyed it. And also leave in the comments below your top five underrated animes as well and also if you want to leave any more details as to maybe even adding two more that you feel as well that do deserve it let me know in the comments below but as always guys stay awesome keep watching anime and i'll see you next time